last class. Yes, yes. Ignore Mr. Poe and his shenanigans. Anyway, Miss Poe here, and I'm going to read you guys one of my favorite music books called The Really Awful Musicians. Story and Pictures by John Manders. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Once upon a time, in a kingdom amazingly far away, music sounded incredibly, well, bad. The king couldn't even stand to listen to his own royal musicians. One at a time, they weren't so awful, but together they sounded horrible. The king couldn't face another evening of it. Enough! No more loud, soft, fast, 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 slow, screechy, bellowy, terrible musicians. Hire me some mimes, he thundered. He decreed that henceforth music would be banned throughout the kingdom. And anyone caught playing music would be fed to the royal crocodiles. The king's men at arms were everywhere rounding up musicians. The royal crocodiles never had it better. In and out of the way, village little Piffero played a tune on his pipe. Poot, 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 poot. Thumb, 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 thumb went his drum. But the royal men-at-arms found his hiding place. Help me, Charlemagne, Piffero whispered to an old dray horse grazing nearby. The horse's name wasn't really Charlemagne, but he liked the sound of it. He was proud of his name. Piffero vaulted onto his back, and off he rode into the night. All night long he rode. Before dawn the next morning, Piffero and Charlemagne were greeted by a sound that was almost too fast to hear. I, Espresso, am the fastest musician in the kingdom. Fast, 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 blurted the mandolin player. I can play a three-minute waltz in just under 12 seconds. We're escaping from the king's soldier, if you want to come with us, said Piffero. On they rode. Piffero's pipe went. Thumb, thumb, thumb went his drum. Espresso's mandolin went. As the sun rose, Piffero, Charlemagne, and Espresso noticed a teeny, tiny, wee little tune that was almost too soft to hear. It was a little musician playing a tiny harp. I'm Serena the Silent, she whispered. I hope I'm playing quietly enough. What? asked Charlemagne and Espresso. Come with us if you don't want to be an appetizer for the royal crocodile, said Piffero. <laughs> So on they rode, Piffero's pipe went, went his drum, Serena's tiny harp went, Espresso's mandolin went. Around noon, they were nearly knocked over by sound waves. The sackbutt player paused for breath and said, Congratulate me! I, Fortissimo, won the loudest musician on Boombardi Award this morning. But Boombardi is at least a three days voyage from here, said Charlemagne. That's what makes it so impressive, boomed Fortissimo. Jump in the cart, said Piffalo, and on they rode. Went Fortissimo's sack butt. Piffalo's pipe went. Went his drum. Serena's harp went. Espresso's mandolin went. A few leagues down the road, they almost flattened the slowpoke, inching along in front of them and going, Wah. Can't you go any faster? asked Charlemagne. No, 
replied Lugubrio, sadly. I started playing this particular piece when I was a boy, and I'm just now starting the middle section. Well, climb aboard. The king's crocodiles are hungry already, said Piffero. <laughs> On they rode, went Fartissimo's sackbutt, went Lugubrio's contrabass recorder, Serena's harp went, Piffero's pipe went, went his drum, Espresso's mandolin went. All afternoon, they played as they rode. They played fast, smooth, loud, and soft, all at the same time. Finally, Charlemagne couldn't stand it anymore. Enough! You guys sound terrible! Why don't you all play together? The musicians stopped and looked at each other. Then at the horse. Charlemagne drew five long lines in the dirt. These lines are us riding along. I'll make hoof prints on the lines to show high notes and low notes. The high notes will be up here and the low notes will be down here and the middle notes will be in the middle. I'll mark time with this stick so you know when to play the next note. They looked at Charlemagne's hoof prints and followed his stick while they played. Each musician listened to the others. When they all played together, the music sounded beautiful for the first time ever. And then the king's coach came barreling down the road. Halt! cried the king. Do I hear musicians? Before the men at arms could grab them, Piffero, Espresso, Serena, Fortissimo, and Lugubrio started to play together. The men at arms applauded. Gadzooks, how lovely, cried the king. How would you like to play at my castle? You won't feed us to your crocodiles, asked Piffero. Not if you play like that, decided the king. They can eat the mimes. And so Piffero and his friends became the king's musicians in residence, and beautiful music was heard everywhere from then on.